Welcome back to Limestone Fishing. This is going to be a quick episode on how I installed my Rail Blazer track loader gunnel track onto my low FM1625 WT. So in some of the episodes that I filmed in my boat this year, you'd have seen me use these Scotty uh, rod holder mounts. And while they work just fine, uh, having these things here is not ideal. You can't move them. They're pretty stationary. And to be honest with you, this one right behind the driver's seat is kind of in the way. So I went out to a local store called uh, Marine Outfitters and picked up this rail blaze of stuff. Just so you know, I'm not affiliated or sponsored or anything by Marine Outfitters or rail blaze. I just needed a track system for my boat because for some reason, Low didn't put one on my boat. So I had to buy my own and install it. The problem is the hardware that came with these is a nut and bolt and there's no access on the top side of this gunnel to actually get at the bolt. So there's no way to actually tighten it down. As you can see here, this is just a solid piece of aluminum that's hollow. Uh, so there's no way to get at the underside, except under here, and that's not ideal. So yeah, I don't know why Lowe wouldn't just add the rails on to a boat, uh, you know, standard from the factory, but it doesn't matter. So here's how I installed the other rail. First, because I wanted to put rails on both sides, uh, I just used this piece of wood as my way to measure to make sure that they're even because the two cleats here are even on each side. So once I got this lined up, I just put my rail here and I know that this rail right here is going to be exactly equal to the rail on the other side. So once I get my rail lined up, I'm going to take some of this duct tape and I'm just going to tape the rail in place so that it doesn't move when I'm drilling and doing some other stuff just to keep it perfectly in place. So now I'm just going to drill my pilot holes. I'm going to use these screws and the only part of the original hardware that came with them that I'm going to use is these little rubber washers. Uh, and that's just to add a little bit of stability to it. You want to make really, really sure that you don't over tighten these because this gunnel of my low FM 1625 is made of such soft aluminum. If you start to over tighten it, you're just going to strip out the hole and then you're going to have a useless hole in your gunnel. Seems pretty solid. It doesn't feel loose at all. You know what I mean? Like I can't really jiggle it. So yeah, we'll see how long that these four stainless steel screws hold up to the kind of abuse that I'm gonna put these uh, rails through. And uh, I'll let you know if it works out for me or not. But in the meantime, I've got these uh, Rail Blazer Starport mounts here. And just like any other track system, they go on and screw on. And they come with a bunch of different keys on the bottom so that they're compatible with pretty much any rail system out there that exists. Um, Pre-built rails that are on boats, uh, a lot of kayak rails. Yeah, so they're compatible with all kinds of stuff. So this is the whole reason I got these. Just like that. And the other cool thing I just realized is that the rails are compatible with my Yak Attack lock and load mounts. So I can slide these bad boys on screw my lock and load mount down. And all the awesome accessories I have for my kayak, I can now take on my boat, my camera mounts, rod holders, fish finder mounts, whatever I got. So that's pretty cool. I hope this video was informative to some of you. Like I said, this aluminum, super soft. So you gotta be really careful when you're putting your screws in. But so far, I'm pretty happy with how the rail mounts turned out. I'll give you an update on how they go later on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my video and I'll see you in the next one.